Welcome back, Team Favorite. Back again with another video. I'm back with another The Circle Netflix original series video. As I told you on my previous video, I have seen season one of the UK version of The Circle, and I've seen most of season two. In this video, I will be comparing this first season of the US to the first season of the UK. Just forewarning, y'all. So, last time I left off, I left off with episode eight, where Joey decided not to save Miranda. Miranda ended up going to meet Joey. Now, I actually like this meeting a lot. I think Joey made the wrong move, but obviously it wasn't the wrong move in the long run because, spoiler alert, Joey wins. But I liked that meeting. I thought it was pretty genuine. I liked that Miranda actually liked Joey, and it seemed like Joey actually liked Miranda. And they ended up sharing a little goodnight kiss. Good for them. Good for them. I think it was pretty cool. But nothing really happened inside episode 8, really. I watched it so long ago, I probably just don't remember. But Ed and Tammy, his mom, came in, which I just... I thought Ed was really, really cool. I liked him, and I'm glad that a lot of people in the circle actually liked him. And they gravitated, gravitated towards him really, really fast. Like, he was a good person. But I just didn't understand what was the point in his mom being there. Was it just, like, for comedy for us? Because she really didn't add anything. It was times where he was talking to people, and she would say something to say, and he didn't even say it. So, like, I, I, I would have liked it more if it was, like, okay, today, Tammy gets to talk. Tomorrow, Ed gets to talk. And it's just, like... You know, stuff like that. I don't know. But I really liked Ed as a character. I wish he was there without his mom, actually. I think that she really didn't add anything. And I think Ed was just a cool person by himself. Also, on episode 9, Sean ended up revealing herself. Uh, I thought it was really, really... It was a nice moment and all, but, like, I don't know. Like, I just feel like when Sean first came on the scene, she didn't really seem insecure or anything. Like, I just didn't understand why she was playing her, her friend anyway. Like, she said, like, like, people are mean to big people. But, like, she just seems so confident. Like, I don't, I just, I'm so surprised that she did that crap. Like, I don't know. My, my mind is like, I don't know how I feel about Sean. But I feel like her doing that, she revealed herself to, like, four people or three people. I think that it really saved her inside the ratings this episode. Everyone did the rankings. And, obviously, Ed couldn't be rated, but everybody else could. And Sean was pretty low, but she was ahead of, like, I think it was Alex and Bill. By the way, Bill to me was such a waste of a character. He did nothing. And I feel like this season, like, I don't know. Like, I feel like a lot of times they didn't show us enough. Like, uh, I know that this is like a two week show and it's 12 episodes, but I feel like we didn't see enough of their conversation. And I really wonder how long are they actually in these apartments? Cause I don't know. Like, I feel like they could did this whole show in a week, like seven days <laughs> compared, like how, considering how it went, but. Basically, Bill was instantly blocked because he was the least rated person. Like, I think he was like number seven out of seven or eight out of eight, something like that. But then there was also the influencers who ended up being Rebecca and Shuby. And they ended up, like, Rebecca ended up getting the getting to pick. And she had to pick between Sean. And Sean, remember, Sean didn't reveal herself to Shuby. So Shuby doesn't really know about what Sean did I, at this point, I don't think. Rebecca does. So Rebecca had to choose between Sean who revealed herself to be a catfish. And Alex, who I guess they had a connection, like they liked each other, I don't know. But Rebecca ended up blocking, or Seaburn, whatever his name is, he ended up blocking Alex, which was suspect to Shuby. Shuby's like, I think that was the wrong decision, all this stuff. Something about this game is I feel like it's not really strategy based. And that's just, maybe it's just this cast. Like, I feel like it was more strategy based in the UK season one. I, season two, I'm not gonna speak on, but like, I just feel like they were just doing stuff. Like, they were friends, so I was like, oh, let's just do it. Like, if if I was on the circle and Rebecca got rid of Alex instead of Sean, and I'm Shuby, I'm putting stuff together like, okay, why did she just do that? Then the next morning, Sean reveals herself that she's not that she's a catfish and shows her real self. Like, it seemed like, I don't know, people weren't putting stuff together with that, and I really didn't like that. So Alex goes to meet Rebecca, and they just laugh and play it off. Like, oh my god, you're doing what I wish I could do. Like, they catfishing and stuff. To me, Seaburn, I don't really respect him or like him, to be honest. Because I, or, I respect him as a real person, but like, on the game. Like, I don't know, he just, like, at the end, let me jump ahead to when he first met Shuby face to face. He was like, everything was real, except, you know, the picture. No, it wasn't. Same as Karen. Y'all were not being yourself. Stop lying. Y'all were not being yourself. So you mean to tell me? So on the reunion, when they all got together, they asked Seaburn, oh, so are you the emotional one? And he said, no. So why were you playing an emotional character? 
asked, you made, and then you, they asked, is your girlfriend like that? And he said, no. So you were faking your personality. It wasn't real. What are you talking about? Like, I didn't like that. So episode 10, the main thing that came out of this episode that I really liked was the rivals game. So they have to basically tell who they who their main rival was and why. And I really, like Sean, I like what she said. She told the truth and she, you know, put it on Sammy. But then I feel like Sammy just went back at Sean. Like, I feel like she, I want to know, I wish they would have had to lock in their answers and what they wrote before they got to see anybody else's. I like what Shuby did. That was brave to pick his best friend as his biggest rival. Also, I want to mention this. Chris, to me, was such a non-factor in these couple episodes because he just stayed in the middle of the pack. Like, he did not realize he was playing a game. And this is why I'm saying I feel like they don't show us enough. Like, how does this game work? Because we never saw Chris open up a private chat with someone. And I was watching this like, where is Chris? Why is he not? He doesn't talk to nobody. He don't open up private chats with anybody. It's like he just live in his hotel, his apartment, just do nothing. But that's my guy. I wanted him to win because I like. I, I thought he was real and his personality. I feel like Shuby got really, really cocky. Joey, he was my guy too. I think Joey was cool. And Sammy, I felt like she was arrogant, but her personality was cool. I liked. I really warmed up to her. Seaburn, I did not like him. I, I just feel like. Own it, own it. Same with Karen, like own it. You are not being yourself. Don't tell me that, oh, I'm being myself 100% just with a different picture. No, you weren't. No, you were not. At, uh, at least um, the other guy, Alex, owned what he was doing. He just sucked at the game, honestly. His personality, the stuff he said. Remember when he used the word aroused? Like, and everybody's like, huh? Aroused? What? And they romp. Like, he was just, you know. <laughs> He did a horrible job playing his character. Also inside this episode, we got a secret influencer, which ended up being Joey. Joey got the block whoever he wanted. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention inside the game, the Rivals game, uh, Ed ended up calling out Rebecca. And I think he had already called her out before. And Rebecca and him kind of went back and forth a little bit. Um, people were kind of like, you know, opening their eyes and maybe Rebecca ain't real, you know? But I just love that Ed knew that she he wasn't, or she, Rebecca wasn't real and I just, I wish that the eliminations and blocking and stuff played out different because I feel like Ed didn't really get a fair chance. Of course he was leaving. Of course he was going to leave. It was either him or Sean. Like, the other five were not about to get rid of each other before y'all two. So, Joey got to block somebody. And I was really hoping that he would have blocked Rebecca because Joey kind of had Ed's back. But Joey ended up blocking Sean, which they poor meeting. The poor meeting. Because... Joey, Sean actually confided in Joey a few times, and I thought that they were pretty cool. Joey had to go meet Sean face to face, and it, it was just so sad because Sean was like, I ain't gonna lie to you, you was my number one tonight, which I just feel like he should have took out, if I was Joey, if I was Joey actually, I probably would have took out, oh man, who would, I, I, would, I guess I would have took out Rebecca, take out Rebecca, because Rebecca is gonna uh, rate Shuby number one each time or I would have took out Sammy and not revealed myself if I took out Sammy I'm not revealing that I was the secret influencer but if I take out Rebecca I, I wouldn't care if people knew or not because Sammy Sammy was like liked by everybody so but he made a good decision in the long run because he ended up winning the whole show so so Sean's blocked and Joey reveals that he was the secret influencer Rebecca kind of like happy a little bit we go to episode 11 and they had their final rating or ranking. I always get confused, is it rating or ranking? I I'm guessing it's ranking because ranking is literally what they're doing. But is it, do they call it rating? I don't know. So they did the final rating. Nothing really to talk about inside episode 11 except they did their final little ratings or rankings. <laughs> and Ed ended up in last and he had to leave. Then we go to finale night. Uh, the meetings, I feel like, I don't know. like. Underwhelming could have been better. I, I just I don't know. I, I feel like they should have let sh sh uh, What's his name have it a little more like they laughed about it It was all fun and gave up. I, I could see that a couple people like Sammy and Shuby I could tell that they were a little bit like uh, And then they kept talking about I'm so glad you're real. I'm so glad you're real and then Seabird is just sitting there like and then, like, I just hated what he kept saying. Oh, I, everything was the same. Everything was the same. Except, no, it wasn't. Stop lying to them. So you mean to tell me you was yourself when you were sitting there flirting with Alex? You, that was you, Seaburn, huh? That was you. When you were talking about a period, that was you. When you were talking, she even flirted with Shuby at one point. Let us not forget that time. Remember when she tried to flirt with him and he just, like, he friend-zoned her. 
be honest. Like, oh, she, you look really handsome in that. Like, she, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, let's get to the live show. It was nice seeing the pre, the what well, the, the previously blocked players again. I wish they got to talk more. I wish this was done more like a, a reunion actual format. Like they were all sitting there and actually had like back and forth conversation. I, I, I really wish it was like that. It was nice seeing Alana again. I wish she had a fair shot or something like that. Or maybe even like, I feel like they need to do the ending better. Like the finale should be better in some way. Cause it, oh, this is your final rating. Or ranking sorry I don't know the final ranking and it's six people left like Jesus Christ obviously Ed's not gonna win well if they were strategic like Joey shouldn't have won Joey was being strategic a little bit he's like let me rank he did rate Shuby like far back at one point but like it still wasn't like good enough like Shuby he ended up putting him back in second and it ended up being uh, just like I thought it would be in the final five Rebecca left first, or Seaburn, whatever you say, and then it was Chris, unfortunately. I really was rooting for him. I really wanted to be on it. I knew he was about to leave next. And then it was the three, and Sammy left. Now, when it came to those three, though, I thought Joey was going to win, but I could have seen any of the three winning. Sammy left next, and it was on the, the two, and I had a feeling Joey was going to win because I remember Chris rated Joey number one. And I know that I don't know if anybody rated well. Chris rated Joey number one, but Rebecca rated Shuby number one, I'm assuming, so I don't know. But I'm, in the long run, I'm glad that Joey ended up winning. Like, he's a good winner. He was cool the whole time. He was a douche in the beginning. He probably still is a douche, but he was, he, he made up for it. He ended up being a, a nice guy. He, so, big ups to Joey for winning the circle, and I'm glad that somebody I liked actually won the show. And he was himself the whole time so that's really really cool and he made genuine relationships inside the show like he's really cool with Miranda Sean even though he was res single-handedly responsible for both of the blockings he's really cool with them he's also cool with Shuby I think he's cool with Sammy uh, he was cool with Chris the whole time Chris rated him number one and he was cool with Ed so Joey he definitely deserved a win so big ups to him I, all in all I do like the season but I do think for season two they need to make some some changes, especially to the ending on how they pick a winner. Maybe just let the jury pick, just like Big Brother. If, if they don't want to be too much like Big Brother, maybe, like, the game is how popular you you are. So maybe at one point, they do need to do a fan vote. But then, like, if you just came in, you will automatically, I don't know. It, it's, a, it's a difficult game, especially if you come in late. It's difficult. But that's it for this video, y'all. Be sure to leave y'all comments on how y'all feel about the show inside the comment section down below. As well as give the video a like, subscribe, share it on all forms of social media. And until next time, guys, catch you later.